Hey guys, Brian Schof here for BombasticEntertainment.com, and today I am very excited to be reviewing the 2018 San Diego Comic Con exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles box set based on the 1990 movie by NECA Toys. First, let's talk about the box. NECA really had some fun here. They not only styled the box after the original VHS tape, they also recreated the still photos from the cassette using their turtles. I'm not sure if these are the seven inch figures or the quarter scale turtles, but it's really well done and it gives you a great idea of what's possible with this set. Just to give you an idea, scale, here's a shot of the box set next to the original VHS tape. And the box itself can double as a case for the figures, so it's not just well done, it's also really well thought out. All right, give me a minute here and I'm gonna set these little masterpieces free. The Mean Green Fighting Machines come with a lot of accessories. Each turtle has their signature weapons, a uh, second set of hands, and an extra bandana. More on that in a minute. They also come with a pizza box. This is lovingly recreated from the Domino's pizza box that was all over the movie, and it's about as close as you could possibly get to it without being sued. There's a readable coupon on top. The box has some grease stains, so it's pretty realistic looking. Open up the box, you'll find four extra slices on top of the four slices of pizza that came in the blister shell. So with a bit of organizing, you can make a whole pizza pie. It's pretty rad. My only complaint here is the box is made out of paper, so be sure to be very delicate when handling it. And last but not least, we have the infamous ooze canister. The printing is extremely small, but everything is readable, so you couldn't ask for any better detail. Turn it over, and you can see there's a crack in it, just like the film. Tubular. Literally, tubular. <laughs> Back to the turtles themselves. Articulation-wise, the neck is on a ball joint, so the head has a nice range of movement. And if the headband gets in the way, you can just twist it or pop it out and replace it with one of the alternate headbands. So that's pretty cool. All the weapons fit in the holsters, so that opens up a lot of display possibilities for each turtle. Arm-wise, the shoulders are ball-jointed, um, so they've got a decent orbit. There's also a waist joint hidden inside the shell, which gives the torso a little bit of extra leeway. The joints are well hidden in general. Most of them are practically invisible. Unlike other recent NECA figures, the turtles don't have bicep swivels, so to compensate, you get rotation on both sides of the elbow pad, and the pad itself covers a double-jointed elbow. The wrist rotates, and the hands just pop out, and you can replace them with any of the other interchangeable hands. The legs are also ball jointed and they rotate so you can have the turtles do some wider poses. The knee is also double jointed but the range is a little bit limited by the knee pads. Ankles have a good range of forward and back action. There's also a bit of side to side swivel to them. It's a little limited but some movement is better than none. It's fairly close to what NECA has done with their other recent Ultimate figures, so that should give you an idea of what to expect. The paint is very well done. Between the spots and the wash, it gives the turtles a nice appearance of a, a range of greens and browns. There's also a little bit of shine to the skin, so they catch light, and all together it creates a pretty realistic looking texture. Now the skin also has a nice rubbery feel to it, and in that respect it's similar to how the original movie turtles felt. Speaking of the OG movie turtles, here they are for comparison. And as a bonus, here's the movie turtles sized up with their 2017 cartoon counterparts that I was also extremely lucky to get a set of last year. Now with a lot of sets like this, the bodies are usually exactly the same with only the heads being different. And while the arms and legs of the four turtles are the same, I want to point out each turtle has a unique shell. If we look at Raph and Donnie here, you can see Raph's shell has a lot of little battle scratches in it, while Donatello has a cleaner shell. And if I bring in Michelangelo for a second, 
you can see the rings on his shell are smaller than Donatello's. I don't have space in the shot for Leo, but you get the idea. The, the attention to detail is stellar. Well, that's about it. I mean, these guys are amazing. This set is a Turtle fan's dream come true. I can't imagine there being a better set of Turtles based on the 1990 movie. There's every accessory you could want. Turtles have a very nice, expressive look to them, a pretty great range of articulation. They're extremely photogenic, so if you like taking toy pictures, they're awesome for that. I feel like I'm talking about a unicorn, though. I, I mean, this set, along with the 2017 Comic-Con Toon Turtles, they're a little too good to be this limited. You know, still, we're lucky they exist at all, and I, I give Nickelodeon a lot of credit for being cool and letting NECA slide these out there as non-retail con exclusives, but I do really hope they find a way to open up distribution so that more people can get their hands on them, because they really are that good. Like I said before, this set is a Turtle fan's dream come true, and if you can find a way to get yourself a set without breaking the bank and paying outrageous scalper prices, do it. Because these things are what crown jewels of toy collections are made of. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And don't forget to check out bombasticentertainment.com to see what we're up to. Thanks for watching.